Good morning, this is Ramal Magalas, your subject teacher for Empowerment Technologies. Lesson 5, Advanced Word Processing Skills. A picture that allows you to create documents and combine or merge them with another document or data file is called Mail Merge. Mail Merge let you create a batch of documents that are personalized for each recipient. There are six steps in the Mail Merge Wizard. Under the Mailing tab, click the drop-down of Start Mail Merge and choose the Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard. Number 1. Select the Document Type. 2. Start the Document. 3. Select Recipient. 4. Write your letter. 5. Preview your letters. And last, complete the merge. Two components of mail merge. The first component of our mail merge documents is the form document. It is generally the document that contains the main body of the message we want to convey or send. The main body of the message is the part of the form document that remains that remains the same no matter whom you send it to from among your lists. The second component of our mail merge document is the list or data file. This is where the individual information or data that needs to be plugged in to the form document is placed and maintained. Label generation Included in the Mail Merge feature on Microsoft Word is the Label Generator. It just makes sense that after you print out your form letters, you will need to send it to individual recipients in an envelope with the matching address printed directly on the envelope or on a mailing label to stick on. All you need to do is to select the correct or appropriate size for the label or envelope and select the data file that contains the addresses to be printed. Integrating Images and External Materials Integrating or inserting features in your document is fun and it improves the impression of your document. Letter A. Kinds of Materials 1. Pictures Generally, these are electronic or digital pictures or photographs you have saved in any local storage devices. There are three commonly used types of picture files, JPEG, PNG, and GIF. Pictures can be identified by the extension of their file names, a.jpg. This is pronounced as JPEG and is the short form of .jpg or Joint Photographic Experts Group. Like all the rest of the image file extensions, it identifies the kind of data compression process that it used to make it more compatible and portable through the internet. This type of image file can support 16.7 million colors. That is why it is suitable for all when working with full color photographic images. Unfortunately, it does not support transparency and therefore, images of this file type can be difficult to integrate in terms of blending with other materials or elements in your document. B.GIF This stands for Graphics Interchange Format. This type of image file is compatible of displaying transparencies. Therefore, it is good for blending with other materials or elements in your document. It is also capable of displaying simple animation. Apparently, this may not be too useful on a printed document. But, if you are sending documents electronically or through email or even post documents into a website, then this could be quite impressive. C. PNG. This is pronounced as PING. It stands for Portable Network Graphics. It was built around 
the capabilities of GIF. Its development was basically for the purpose of transporting images on the internet at faster rates. It is also good for transparencies but unlike GIFs, it does not support animation but it can display up to 16 million colors. So, image quality for this image file type is also remarkably improved. Clip Art This is generally a .gif type. Line art drawings or images used as generic representation for ideas or objects that you might want to integrate in your document. Shapes These are printable objects or materials that you can integrate in your document to enhance its appearance or allow you to have some tools to use for composing and representing ideas or messages. If you are designing the layout for a poster or other graphic material for advertising, you might find this useful. 4. Smart Art these are predefined sets of different shapes grouped together to form ideas, organizational, or structural in nature. If you want to graphically represent an organization, process, relationships, or flow for infographic documents, then you will find this easy and handy to use. 5. Chart this is quite useful when you are preparing reports that correlate and represent data in a graphical manner. And last, screenshot. Sometimes, creating reports or manuals or training or procedures will require the integration of a more realistic image of what you are discussing on your report or manual. Nothing can get you more realistic image than a screenshot. Image Placement a. In line with text. This is the default setting for images that are inserted or integrated in your document. It treats your image like a text font with the bottom side totally aligned with the text line. This setting is usually used when you need to place your image at the beginning of a paragraph. B. Square. This setting allows the image you inserted to be placed anywhere with the paragraph with the text going around the image in a square pattern like frame. C. Tight. This is almost the same as the square setting, but here the text hug or conforms to the general shape of the image. This allows you to get a more creative effect on your document. D. Through. These settings allows the text on your document to flow even tighter, taking the contour and shape of the image. E. Top and Bottom This setting pushes the text away vertically to the top end or the bottom of the image so that the image occupies the whole text line on its own. F. Behind Text This allows your image to be dragged and placed anywhere on your document but with all the text floating in front of it. It effectively makes your image look like a background. G. In front of text. As it suggests, this setting allows your image to be placed right on top of the text as if your image was dropped right on it. That means whatever part of the text you place the image on, it will be covered by the image.